It is my distinct honor to welcome you to the 135th year of Bryn Mawr College and to celebrate Convocation with you. Convocation means coming together. That's why we do it every year, no matter what, to mark the start of the academic year. And it's why among all our traditions, and we have a lot of them, it's one of the most important. It would be easy to focus on what is hard or different about Convocation this year, but I wanna focus on what is hopeful. Bryn Mawr was born out of a determination to change higher education in the world. That mandate to create change continues today, but it must be in broader, deeper, more just ways than we have in the past. So as we mark the beginning of this year, I am hopeful that we will marshal the capacity to embrace an anti-racist framework and engage the full community in transforming Bryn Mawr into a place where racial justice flourishes, where anti-racism isn't a matter of opting in, and where equity is a major driver of decision-making. The recent shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin, reminds us that we must look both inward to our campus and outward to the world. I am hopeful that we will use this fall to engage politically, no matter our individual political leanings and commitments. We need to work together, no matter where we are, to ensure that we and others are prepared to vote and that everyone has a truly substantive, equal opportunity to cast their votes freely safely and easily. Finally, I am hopeful that this semester will let us return to the critical business of teaching and learning, whether at home or on campus. It's understandable that the many crises of the past six months can feel overwhelming, but we need to fight for our education too. The challenges our world faces require Bryn Mawr educated students to tackle them. They require the research of our faculty to answer important questions and share ideas that change the course of knowledge. In medicine, activism, ethics, public health, civil rights, creative arts, in all the fields for which the liberal arts offer ideal preparation, the world needs us to be successful in teaching and learning. Through the work each of us does, we create the capacity to move beyond this moment. The world needs us to succeed. There is more to do and likely challenging days to come, but today we are fortunate because we get to mark an important and incredibly exciting milestone the beginning of the academic year. It is my wish for you that you too can approach this moment with hope and that we as a community will come together with generosity, collaboration, and care to support each other in making this year the best it can be. Good afternoon. My name is Marissa Golden and I teach political science here at Bryn Mawr. I also serve as chair of the faculty, am an alumna, and have a 20-year-old daughter who, like some of you, just started her junior year of college. So I get what it's like to be a college student circa 2020. At Bryn Mawr, we hold convocation to mark the start of the academic year. The word means both the act of calling together and a group of people assembled by summons. But how do we come together when we're scattered in different time zones across the country and the globe? or quarantined in our dorm rooms? How do we assemble when here in the United States, 900 people are still dying from COVID every day and the very act of assembling could transmit the virus? And how do we gather when black Americans continue to be shot by both the police and by emboldened vigilantes? Let me start by acknowledging some of the ways that we can't assemble this year and acknowledging the feelings of loss that entails. First, not all of us are comfortable returning to campus. So for many of us, we can only gather virtually. Second, even for those of us who are on campus, we can't assemble in large groups like we traditionally do for convocation. In fact, we can't even assemble for indoor hall parties or for movie nights crowded into someone's dorm room. And finally, we can't assemble without masks or within six feet of each other. Gathering in any of those ways puts people's health at risk and only exacerbates the problems we face as a nation and as a college. So then why are we summoned? We are called together, some of us physically on campus and some of us from home, to fulfill our educational mission, to teach and to learn. We are summoned because though teaching and learning are much harder during a pandemic, they are no less important. We assemble, whether remotely or in person, because teaching and learning are the only way to understand 
and contextualize the complexities of the present moment and find a path forward. A Bryn Mawr education teaches you how to collect and evaluate data and evidence using a variety of methodological tools and approaches. It teaches you how to conduct careful research in the lab, in the archive, in person, or remotely. It teaches you how to write clearly in a range of disciplines and how to read and interpret a range of literary, scholarly, and visual texts. And it teaches you how to think rigorously, critically, and analytically, seeing the nuance and complexities of infectious diseases and public health measures, of race and racism, of literature and works of art. So this semester, we each need to find a way and a place to teach and learn. This is much more challenging than in previous semesters, when we could hunker down in a carol in Canada, meet with our professors in their offices, and study together in new dorm. But it's the only way we can gain the skills and the knowledge that we need if we have any hope of repairing our broken world. At the same time, we also need to find a way to live together in community, in a community where everyone, students, faculty, and staff feels valued and safe, in a community that is geographically dispersed and socially distant. This is no easy task and will require all of us to pitch in, follow the rules, and be compassionate with each other. So as we convene this semester, please stay safe and healthy, and please try to find meaning and relevance, empowerment, and joy in your teaching and learning. On behalf of the graduate students of Bryn Mawr College, it's my pleasure to welcome you again to this new academic year. As is by now so painfully clear, this year will not be a normal one, and in some ways it shouldn't be. Over the last half year, we have continued to watch with horror as plague strikes at our families and friends and communities, as famine threatens to deprive millions of food, as fires tear through forests and countrysides, as floodwaters and winds sweep away homes and livelihoods, and as Americans continue to beat and slaughter each other here in America. These tragedies have made us more keenly aware of the fragility of our world and the societies and lives of all of us who inhabit it together. And so we enter into this new academic year forever changed by what we have seen and experienced. Many of the more visible aspects of our campus learning have changed. The risks posed by the pandemic demand that we adhere to policies that restrict many of the personal interactions on campus that we once took for granted. We commit ourselves to these things now in full acknowledgement of the hazard, of the responsibility we have toward each other, and of the sacrifices we will all be making. No, this year will not be a normal one, but in some ways it should be. Here, at this moment, and in these uncertain times, we are called together to renew the community of Bryn Mawr College. And so we consider again the real value of this community and that of the education it offers. We are here again to form a welcoming community of learners, driven by a thirst for knowledge, dedicated to the liberal arts, and eager to share in the joy of understanding and discovery. We form this academic community again because of the challenge and mutual illumination that comes from sharing our ideas within such a closely knit group. We form this community again in the expectation that what we teach and learn will shape us and guide us as we pursue better future for ourselves and for those who come after us. We form this community of undergraduates, post-baccalaureates, graduates, faculty and staff, whether in person or online, because we believe the cause of education to be worthy and good for its own sake. And so it is with greater humanity and a profound sense of responsibility that we spark and raise again the shining lantern of learning that by its light we may continue to discover knowledge, appreciate beauty, expose evil, and as the motto of the college says, delight in truth. Since freshman year, my friends and I have been looking forward to this year's convocation to recreate this picture that we took during Lantern Night in 2017. We hope to remind ourselves of how grateful we are for the communities we found and built at Bryn Mawr. 
communities that kept us going through the morning classes and the late night shifts, communities that supported us when we were down and celebrated our small victories. We looked forward to the laughter, hugs and smiles in the company of friends we've trusted and relied upon for three years. It never crossed our mind that things would be so different. Remote classes in the middle of a global health pandemic, social tension and a racially charged political climate were never part of our senior year plan. And not just for us, but for everyone across the globe. Today we are gathered, albeit virtually, to commemorate the beginning of a new academic year and remind ourselves of some of the key values that brings us together. The opportunity to learn and discover in the company of those who share our passions while appreciate people's diversity and ideas within our community. Although we recognize that our social and academic interaction might take a different form, such as endless Zoom calls, we are optimistic that we can still have a unique and memorable experience even in this new normal. Our current circumstances dictate that we deliberately take it upon ourselves to keep in touch with our friends and loved ones. Share and laugh about TikTok videos, take a break and get some sunlight and exercise or just call a friend whenever we need someone to talk to because our mental health is equally important. As we embark on our senior year, we urge every member of the Brinmore community to hold themselves accountable by observing the safety guidelines outlined by the government institutions and Brinmore College as we fight to curb the spread of COVID-19. Knowing too well that the pandemic has directly impacted some community members, we implore each of us to be sensitive and supportive during these unprecedented times. We also call on the school administration to be more accommodating while working with the student body to create a safe community. As we conclude, we'd like to welcome everyone back, regardless of where you've been this from, to the class of 2024. Welcome to the Brainmore community. To the sophomores and juniors, let's keep the fire burning. And for our beloved seniors, we'd like to borrow from our class song. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we still have each other and you can stand under my umbrella. We still have each other's back and despite the change in our interaction, we look forward to a memorable senior year. Anasakata.